what I want to do is talk a little bit about lifting weight. So, if I have a weight and a Lego person picks up that weight, that Lego person is carrying the entire weight. This fellow here is holding two grams of weight. If I add a couple of ropes to that Lego weight and I give each end of a rope to a different Lego person, each of these Lego people are now holding half the weight, right? They're each going to be holding one gram. Now, if one of them goes up, raises their rope, or happens to have a shorter rope, all of the weight is now sitting on a single rope, right? This fellow here is now carrying all of the weight. And if we do the reverse, if we lift up a little bit on this side, she's now carrying all of the weight on this side. This rope is now shorter or under tension, and this rope is slack or loose. It no longer has weight. So the rope with tension has all of the weight. If I wanted to ensure that the weight was always evenly distributed, I would need to use a simple machine like pulley. Now, if I feed a rope through this little handle, I don't quite have a pulley on there, but I effectively have a pulley. So now, both people are holding ends of the rope. They're carrying even weight. They each have one gram. And if one of them raises their rope, the pulley, in this case the little handle, allows the rope to pass through so that the weight is still sitting between both people carrying the weight and they each have half of the weight. If I release some rope, again the weight finds its way to the middle and each person is still carrying only half of the weight. This works just as well if there's only one person in the equation. If I secure one end of the rope on a block and I give the other end of the rope to a person, this person is holding half the weight. The amount of force that she needs to exert to lift two grams of weight is only one gram of force because half the weight is secured here and the number of ropes lifting the weight is two. So the weight is divided by two. So if instead of a person at this end, I have another mechanism and at this end, we're gonna secure the line again, just as we had it before. I'll wind up some of the slack in the system here. And now we have two grams of weight supported on two ropes. The amount of force that we would need to exert on this pulley to run this winch is only one gram of force to lift two grams of weight because the weight is split evenly into these two lines. And if that doesn't make sense, I'm gonna link a video that's all about pulleys, load distribution, and mechanical advantage.